Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a video on how to push out global settings. So this is a request, and I love it when you request some things, although I do apologize the last few weeks. I've been on vacation. I went to Vegas. I tried to win billions of dollars. I didn't. I won a couple hundred, but that's okay. So it looks like I'm actually still going to have to work for a living. All right, so can you please explain how personalization can be pushed globally to a group of users? All righty, let's go through that. The first thing I'm going to do is do a personalized setting and make it so that 052 actually says 052 Denver. Tools, personalize, conditional styles, new. Warehouse equals a specific value, which is 052, next. I'm going to click on text and what I wanted to do is say 052 slash Denver. I'm going to show original value as a tooltip. Next, finish. Now if I close it and refresh it now says Denver. This is a personalized setting I'm going to push out to everyone. But first thing I'm going to go through all the warehouses. So I'm going to pause the video and set all those up. Great, I just set up all these personalized conditional styles. This is set up under my personal profile. So what I need to do is take these settings that are set up under my personal profile, copy them to the global profile, and then everybody in the company gets it. So let's do that. All of this is done through Smart Office Personalization Manager. This is an admin tool, so you may or may not even have access to this. So there's all kinds of different settings, a lot of cool things in here, but today we're just going to go through the personalizations. So right now we have it set up, we have a global role user and then a specific program, we can look at it that way too. So how it typically works is, it's kind of reverse order as how you see here. Like if you have some user specific things that you've done, that trumps everything else. Next, if you don't have any user specific settings, M3, or Smart Office rather, looks at the role settings and see if there's any personalizations there. If there's none there, it goes to global. So in this case, we're going to actually load this globally to everybody. But what I need to do is find my specific user settings and then copy it over to global. So there I am. And I'm going to find the program that I just set up, which was MMS 200. If I go in and I look at it, I see I have 29 conditional styles. I want to copy all of those over to Global. First, let's look and see, is there anything even set up on Global or Role for that? Let's take a look. So I'm going to go back to Home, Global, MMS 200. There's one conditional style. Let's drill into it and see what it is. Basically, it looks like there's some kind of coloring wrapped around item type. This was probably something I did for test. It's not really anything that I care about, so I'm going to get rid of it. Let's look at role base and see if there's anything for MMS 200 as well. Well, I have two roles set up here. MMS 200 has 11 shortcuts. Let's take a look to see what those are. So it looks like just a bunch of shortcuts on the side. So let's go back and take a look at mine, and we're going to copy those over for global. Sometimes you can merge them, sometimes you copy them. In this case, I'm just going to copy them all over. Copy to global, OK. Are you sure you want to copy all personalizations? Yes, I do. So now, if we go back to global, you'll see there's 29 conditional styles. Do you see also that it erased that one that I had there? And again, that's okay. I, I wasn't too concerned about that one. Now, merge, of course, would have just added all of them onto it. So if I added one tomorrow, then I would do a merge or a copy. It just depends. Now, anytime someone logs into Smart Office, they're going to have those same exact conditional styles. My user. I can now delete those conditional styles because they're at the global level. So if I delete those, I'm still going to get them because 
if it doesn't find anything under my user profile it looks at roles and then it looks at global so essentially it's going to pull from global because that's where all the conditional styles are now loaded so my personalizations aren't loading sometimes this happens um, what I'm going to do is try to clear the cache for my personalization so I'm going to go to the net extension manager and under clear customization I'm going to clear customization for all environments and now I'm going to reboot that should do the trick let's open up MMS 200 and there we go voila so if I go to my personalization conditional styles here they all are but they all live on a global level when I look at the personalization manager there's the conditional styles under global but if I look at my specific user I don't have any so what I'm going to do is make an extra one now on my MMS 200 and show you how it combines them so let's go back to MMS 200 and let's just make a random one tools personalize conditional styles we'll say the item type text equals to a specific value I'll say when it equals STK I want it to actually say STK stock so there now I have this extra one here and I'm going to close it so as far as personalization manager goes globally there's 29 and under my user profile I should see an extra one which is the 30 and again if I wanted to I could copy these over to, to a specific user a specific role or a, or globally and this is an overview on how to deploy personalized settings globally or to roles or to users thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions on any of this stuff and make sure you subscribe to my channel to catch all my videos.